Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be showing you a quick couple things that I noticed recently when I was on the uh, calibration website. We have this quick test. I may have overlooked it once before, but the main thing I want to show you is this new range calibration right here. I'm gonna do go through the whole process of both and I'll show you exactly what it does. You've probably seen it before if you've used the Ghouli Kit website to calibrate, but this is finally added on to the GitHub. All right, we're gonna do this one first, a quick test. Make sure that you everything is working on the controller that you have, USB connector. Uh, right here, you can either click pass or fail, or if you wanna pass, you can just press square or X for fail. And for this one, I know it's good. All right, right here, you're testing all the buttons. The main buttons, you have to hit three times to ensure that everything is good. This section will automatically pass once you click everything, just like that. Now it's testing my adaptive triggers. Make sure they pull, stops. All right, they're good. Checking my vibration motors. They're good. This one, you actually have to look at your controller to make sure that all the lights are changing or blinking. It's giving me the different colors that let me know that all of them are working okay. All right, speaker, it'll make a quick beep. All right, your headphone jack is just plugging in. Make sure that you hear the, out, the output from the computer. You just hit test speaker. It'll make a sound for you. And then you hit pass or fail. Next one is just making sure that your built-in microphone is working as it should. And for this one, it's going great. And it'll show you all the eight pass, zero fail. You hit close. All right, now for the new calibration, I'm gonna run through this real quick and then I'll show you exactly what we have to do in order for this to work. All right, I have a little bit of going off right there. I'm gonna focus only on this one, the right stick. All right, circularity is perfect. And that's exactly what I want in order to do this next step. I don't wanna do the 7% that I usually do because this right here is going to do it for you. All you have to do is take this slider and you'll see it build up. If you want to get it to where it's just like factory, you take it to nine, test it out. It looks just like that. Me, I like to have mine down at seven. Go back in. Hit that one. And I'm gonna take it to seven. And I like it just like that. Hit save permanently. I'm gonna reboot the controller just to make sure everything held. All right, we go right back into the fine tune. Go over circularity. In order for this to turn on, you have to do a circle one time. If you notice, this slider isn't here at the top anymore or in the middle. That's because now the new default for this controller is the 6.6. .6. So if, if I were to go up to this, you see it's at the halfway point now. The only way to get it back to the 3.9 after using that feature is if you go back and calibrate it yourself, just like normal, where I just take down some of the value. All 
right got some of it off there it is back to 3.9 now i can go back in here and slide it just like that I'm gonna hit save changes and that's it. If you wanna do the old method where you're just pressing the buttons in order to get to that circulation that you want, you can check out my video right here and it'll show you all the steps in order to get it just how you want it that way. All right, that completes today's tutorial. All right, that completes today's tutorial. If you have any questions, be sure to leave your comments below. And if you found this one helpful, hit the like button and subscribe.